Hello everyone and welcome to Norwich Theatre and I'm here joining me today are some of the cast of Chicago. We have Lee Mead, Jelena Scott and Faye Brooks and they've taken some time out today to join me and talk about the show Chicago. Thank you so much for taking time out for tonight's show. Um, I'm going to start with a question of what do you enjoy the most about learning your roles for Chicago? We'll start with you Lee. Oh, uh, well, I first saw Billy, Billy Flynn, when I was 13 in my home condition in South End, and I just think it's such a great part to play a role in terms of the, the speeches that he has and, 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 the, and the dialogue, so mm -hmm. that, that was really fun to learn in London, quite a few hours of prep, as you guys know as well, obviously. It's um, lots of line learning, but he's just set a very different character for me as well. I always mm -hmm. played sort of nice guy type roles, and Billy's very charismatic on the surface, but there's an undertone of him being quite sinister as well. Do you feel like you've brought more of your personality into the role, or do you think you've stuck quite a lot with that role? Uh, I don't think I'm sinister, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's nice to play that darker side, yeah. Yeah, which we've all got, really. Yeah. So we're not, not one-dimensional as people, so yeah. it's been really interesting to play that, yeah. How about you, Faye? Um, oh, I've loved the process. I, I, she's so iconic, Roxy, mm -hmm. and other many, many people who are so talented have played her. But what I loved about our rehearsal process is that we were given this kind of freedom to create our own version of it, I think. Mm -hmm. And then she's kind of, I still think I'm, still, I'm learning about her. Every audience that we get, something new comes from that performance. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's just a character that keeps on giving. And even if it's not being received well, it kind of makes me dig a little deeper and see where I'm at that day. It's, I don't know, it's a really... It's a really, really complex character to play, but I still have fun with her. She's yeah. still very real and exciting. Have you been playing this character on the tour for a long time? How long From the beginning, yeah. We started before? together in September. Right, mm -hmm. so you, you say that process in yeah. a nice long process is still learning the character. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jelenga? Yeah, well, just following on from what Faye said, mm -hmm. I've, I've done the show before, mm -hmm. twice before, um, and understudied Velma. Right. So back in my early 20s in London, mm -hmm. and now I'm back to it again, late 20s, and now I'm revisiting at whatever right age I am, um, but, still 20. but still, like the way that Faye's saying, you can still discover so much more with these yes. women. They're such incredible characters that there's always more mm. to give and to learn and mm. to discover, and we're just having an absolute blast. Maybe, aren't we? I can't believe it's three weeks left. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> and do you feel like you've picked up? Like, is there anyone that you've picked up? Like your your role from other like actors that you've seen well, do that? I actually so. feel the same as Faye that. There's so many different incredible women that have played mm. these parts, and I think everyone's done them differently. Yes. Yeah. And that's like the beauty of the role. But it's still the essence of them. So yeah. it's just such an amazing show that everybody's so featured. Um, mm. All of the ensemble get these moments, and everyone, like they've been played so many times before, but because the material's so good, exactly. it all stays fresh and relevant. And that's why it's lasted so long. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. And Faye, from the cobbles to the Chicago stage, yes. um, what appeals to you about working in theatre? Oh, it's just the live audiences. Like, mm -hmm. you can't, there's no other feeling. I'll never forget that first night when we opened in Glasgow. <laughs> and it's every time we open on a, on a stage in a new venue, in a new theatre, they're so appreciative mm -hmm. of us. And we're so appreciative of them. It's a win-win. Yeah. And that audience smacking you at the end of their reception, it's just like, this is why we're here. Yeah. This is why we're doing what we love and we're so grateful to even be doing it. You know, there's lots of other companies I know that aren't doing as well as Chicago. A lot of shows that actually have ended up not going out on tour because of the pandemic, because of everything else that's gone on with, with COVID. And it's just been such a shame and we're so lucky to have done what we've done. And so without those live audiences, I don't know. It's just, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. the, the, the couples are amazing, <laughs> but like the TV, yeah, it's like, or you can just do another take. Yeah. yeah right, I'm right, right there, there. I'm right there and then with her in that moment. Yeah. I'm just like, anything could happen. And I'm just like, ah. and Sometimes it does. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's, a, there's a line on the night with you, isn't there? Like, I sort of went a bit blank. Yeah. Like, for a split second, and then, I, and then they, they came into the line. I was like, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you staring through me, and I was like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now you mentioned about how successful Chicago has been as well. Why do you think audiences keep on coming back to it, Lee? Probably the story, really, mm -hmm. from these two women. It's just an incredible story, isn't it? And, and combine that with the music. That's the great thing about the show, is that the band and all oh. that big brass mm -hmm. section. And it's just, I've honestly, I've done a lot of shows, but never had as much fun as being on this show in terms of music and, and mm -hmm. the whole 
can you sort of just feel the show? Yeah. Yeah. How likely do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Well, um, like we said, the band was on stage with us, mm. so that just brings an added yeah. bonus to everything. The choreography is slick. It's incredible. Yeah. The cast is yeah. awesome. They're on just this, so on talented. This tour. Yeah. yeah. It's just the the combination of the style, even like the costumes and just. Everything is so exciting, mm -hmm. and it just keeps staying relevant. Mm -hmm. The story, yeah. And a big key to success as well, I think, is it, it, it doesn't tour every year; it comes back every sort of three years or so. Mm -hmm. So it keeps the audiences engaged. Probably it goes away and comes back, and mm -hmm. there might be a good reason behind it as well. But absolutely, because it's the longest running American musical on Broadway to open in 1975, and it's been that ever since. Obviously, came mm -hmm. to the West End too, and it's just on this international tour now, mm -hmm. and it is amazing. Um, Jalenga, how did you originally get into theatre and what would you say to people like just getting started into their theatre career? So in the, I danced since I was like two, mm -hmm. um, so I was always training ballet, tap jazz, all that kind of stuff and then singing and acting and then when I was 16 I auditioned and I went to Teleconti okay. uh, and then I graduated, got myself an agent mm -hmm. and I went into Joseph, was my oh, first ever job, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that well, well, actually, it wasn't with really, me, no, but I know that. <laughs> But that was like the first thing I did, and it kind of just snowballed from there. Mm -hmm. Really, my love of theatre and performing, and yeah, it just kind of kept going. So, what would you say to those just getting into their career? With theater, I would so? say listen to your teachers and be inspired, mm -hmm. and watch watch everything and learn from people. And instead of looking at someone and thinking, "Oh, I could never be that," just be inspired and think yeah. about what it is that you actually love about them, and see if you can find that within yourself. And Lee, um, how did you get into theatre and what would you say to inspire people? Uh, Danny Z. Kerr when I was 15, school production. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was hooked. Yeah. We've all done Greece. We've all done Greece, yeah. I've always said I, I, I've never taken the industry seriously, but I take the work seriously. Mm. I'm always trying to have fun and just the last 20 years. Because what we do, it's not, you know, saving lives or whatever. So you just got to enjoy what you do as well. I think mm. that's really important. Be authentic as well. And like you're saying, it's trying to imitate anybody else. Yeah. So respect the book or the script or whatever the part is, but always try and bring your thing to it as well, which is really important, I think. Mm -hmm. And I found a similar question to Faye from earlier as well. Obviously, you've been in uh, Casualty and Hobby City and many other TV show, uh, soaps and TV shows. What do you prefer? Do you prefer being on TV or do you prefer being on, in theatre? Definitely in theatre, yeah. Like, yeah. like Faye says, you can't, that, that tangible thing of an audience. Mm -hmm. I mean, TV, you play to a bigger audience, obviously, it's mm -hmm. great in terms of hitting a wider amount of people but uh theatre yeah just, just can't beat that live feel really mm -hmm. it's amazing yeah and Faye last question we'll start with you for this one but it's for all three of you what would you say to audiences that haven't got a ticket yet and want to come and see it this week I'm gonna say I don't think they've ever seen a Chicago performance like this one and you're in for a real treat mm -hmm. do you know again? Why do you not have a ticket yet? Why? Why? Get to Me? I was just going to say the same thing. Like, yeah. gen genuinely, it's, I mean, it's almost sold out the whole tour. It's mm. just amazing. People are loving it. Yeah, it's such a great feel good show and it's a great, great story as well. Mm -hmm. Well, now, Chicago is only here in Norwich uh, at Norwich Theatre Royal until Saturday, the 16th of July, and there are limited tickets remaining. We've got some sold out shows at the end of the week, but there are some tickets available for Thursday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So please come on down and book your tickets. You can either visit www.norwichtheatre.org or call our box office on 01603 630000. It would be criminal to miss it. <laughs> Lee, <laughs> Faye, Jalenga, thank you so much thank and enjoy the rest of the tour. Thank you so thank much. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.